Do you ever do drugs for seven days in a row? <laughs> yeah. I just came back from Portugal. They decriminalize every drug. You can carry 10 day supply of anything. 10 hits of acid. When do you ever need 10 hits of acid? And I go to a psychedelic trance festival. For those that don't know, the 60s, Goa hippies went to India, to Goa, and started doing trance. So the whole crowd is bobbing their heads and they're connecting as one to the music and the music is going through you and you're feeling psychedelics opening up your body, blowing open your door. And it's fucking hot. Shit's like a hundred. Luckily there's a lake. Thousands of hippies swimming in the lake. In three days the lake got polluted. Oil. And everybody, the vendors, the vendors are shamans. They taught me about drugs I don't even know about. And I've done a lot of drugs. Look at me. I used to live in the East Village for 35 years. Rape, Mexican, cinnamon, camper, cloves, special tobacco, St. Pedro flower. And you snort it where somebody blows a tube into your fucking nose and it's totally legal and it clears your frontal lobe. Imagine being able to and you got a tabula rasa, you got a blank slate. I mean, mucus comes out of your nose, throwing up a little bit, drinking the water, but you have a blank slate. Then I do the second nostril. Before that, I'm in the acupuncture tent tent with a huge needle on my navel and black energy is coming out of my body because I just left America and nobody's on their phone. <laughs> 33,000 people at a festival for a week. I saw one woman taking a selfie. She was a dyed blonde. Yeah. No cell phones. The second matrix is gone. Virtual reality is gone. And virtually no Americans, because they don't go to Burning Man. So the fucking Americans are gone. You know how good a vacation is when you don't have to hang out with Americans? <laughs> Holy shit. It's like a retreat center. You don't have to hear the bullshit of the zeitgeist of the fucked up capitalism. And I'm hit the second nostril. My third eye explodes open. You know the Zen masters, they take a stick and hit you in the crown of your head and you reach enlightenment? The second, my third eye exploded open. Then it's like a Zen master hit me in the head with a fucking stick and the shit exploded. And my crown chakra is open. And I'm on the beach going, Whoa. <laughs> then I smoked DMT. <laughs> Shamans. Little people. Usually little brown people. That's how it is. Mexicans, Peruvians, Brazilians, Africans. They take ayahuasca. Shit is profound. How many people have smoking pot? Give me a round of applause if you smoke marijuana. <laughs> Give me a round of applause if you've, if you've taken mushrooms. All right. Now we hit peyote, ayahuasca, and ibogaine. Ibogaine. I took ayahuasca. I saw my soul. What? That shit is crazy. My soul. It's a giant piece of metal. Square. Thick. Rusted off to the side. I'm like, damn. I gotta clean that shit. You're taking something that overwhelms you and takes you into the spirit. Tapping the unconscious, automatic writing. It's more powerful than you are. And it grips you. It 
in the Amazon, they call themselves real. Like, real men, real people. And they think that our world is illusion. All right, thanks. Yeah.